Hi, welcome back. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is the list of mods that we're using on Kerbal Collaborative Warfare. So I'll go one better and show you guys how to get yourself set up with your own set of KKW mods quite quickly and quite easily. Um, there's three main steps and two optional steps. Uh, first off, you need to get yourself a program called CCAN. You can download it from its GitHub. I'll leave that in the description. Um, down the bottom of the latest entry, you should find the option for downloads. You just want the executable, typically. I mean, you can grab the source code and compile it if you want. Um, if you have any issues running it, bear in mind that some people may need .NET installed, but don't worry about having to go to a Microsoft site and grabbing that uh, unless you specifically have trouble running it. Um, it should be already installed in Windows, typically. Uh, there's a lovely little video of the uh, Pluto experience as uh, our satellite went past. Poor thing. It's not even a planet anymore. Anyway, so that's the first step. Once you've downloaded your executable, you will have the opportunity to put it in your KSP folder. Just drop it there. When you run it, it'll make these other folders you see here, like CCAN. Um, if it asks you to update anything, do that. Um, once it's done, it'll pop up with this. So this is a list of all the mods which it has archived for Kerbal Space Program. Um, for version 1.04. Um, it should automatically detect from the installation you've got in the directory which version it needs. Um, we're using 1.04 so you might as well grab that. Um, here's the bit that'll save you time though. I'll provide you a link to download the CCAN of all of my mods that I have installed currently. Grab that and you'll get go to changes. Um, light up like that. For me, I've only got Kerbal Constructs. We're not updating to the latest one because it changes some of the bases, and obviously we've got defenses at the bases. But for you, you'll have everything we have installed, which is um, quite a collection of things, with the exception of BD's destruction effects. So I will leave um, a link for that in the description. So you can go and grab that as well, if you want. I'd suggest it. I like the uh, fiery flames that um, come out whenever you shoot something. Uh, and that's it. On the go to change this, you'll see apply. When you click that, it'll go through a whole bunch of downloading and installing. Uh, and all you'll have left to do will be running Kerbal Space Program. Uh, finally, I would suggest you... Um, add force open gl because we're running with so many mods um, it comes out to just under three gig of ram before you even load up a save so in order to sort of maximize the time that you have to play the game between crashes use open gl it um, uses about a gig less ram so you get um, typically on a new save you'll get a good few hours before you get a crash rather than about 10 minutes like poor tape has to put up with because he has problems with his OpenGL version. I hope that's everything. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask um, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, any difficulties, again, let me know and I'll help. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.